Lisa yeah. Cloak. I got that juice. juice. New AP. She got that juice. juice. That's right. I got your juicy entertainment news for Thursday. You know, 50 has his hands filled with all sorts of projects, taking on nearly a dozen television and film assignments for the next couple of years. Yesterday, he announced Power Book 3, Raising Canaan, uh, that will debut this week um, and has already signed on for a second season. Well, today, he dropped the trailer for another upcoming series called BMF. You know, we talked about that a couple of weeks back, um, and he's telling fans that it's going to be bigger than power. It's being described as an American crime family inspired by true legends Big Meech and Southwest T. BMF is set to launch on Stars on September 26th, so look out for that. Speaking of TV series, Amazon has scrapped Joe Exotic's TV series that was set to star Nicolas Cage. Um, right at the height of the Tiger King craze, just before the pandemic, Nicolas Cage announced that he would be playing Joe Exotic in this scripted TV series. Um, after a pause Positive reaction from the press. Amazon Prime was ready to pick up the venture by Imagine Television and CBS Studios. Now, over a year later, Tiger King is no longer trending, and without that status, it appears it appears that Amazon's no longer interested. Um, even Nicolas Cage understood. He said that you know I think Amazon ultimately felt that the material um, has become past tense because it took so long for it to come together. They felt at one point it was lightning in a bottle, but now it's no longer relevant. Um, but there's still good news for Tiger King fans because there is another TV series coming. Uh, you can get your fix on that. That it's going to be um, setting. It's going to set to premiere on Peacock with John Cameron Mitchell playing Joe Exotic alongside Saturday Night Live's Kate McKinnon, who will be starring as Carol Baskin. Um, Shikari Richardson, the fastest woman in the world, has been all over the news recently, disqualified from competing in the Olympics after she tested positive for THC. Fans have been supporting her. Um, along with celebrities and other athletes who feel that she should still be representing Team USA at the 2021 Olympics. She was um, smoking weed legally in a state where it was legal. But, you know, while one door closes, another one opens, it seems that there is an offer on the table for her after she admitted that she does use uh cannabis. Um, Dr. Dabber, a THC vaporizer company, has offered her $250,000 to be an ambassador. Um... No word on whether she'll accept the position, but uh, Dr. Dabber is apparently in need of a new spokesperson after dropping Disney star Kyle Massey due to his recent legal issues. John McAfee, his wife, shared an apparent suicide note on social media yesterday suggesting that it is fake. Now, you know, there's been a whole lot of theories and controversy surrounding the death of John McAfee. Now, you might remember he actually went on and said that uh, they were going to try to kill him and he actually got got a tattoo. Um, but, uh, you know, authorities said he died of an apparent suicide. He was found dead in his prison cell in Spain where he was waiting to be extradited to the U.S. on tax charges. However, there's still a lot of questions remaining about his death. And his wife, uh, Janice McAfee, she revealed that she's got the doubts about his death. She previously revealed that. Well, now she's explained that he, sh he, sh he showed no suicidal tendencies before pointing to the U.S. government as being the true culprit. She posted his apparent suicide note um, that was found in his pocket at the time of his death. The letter is difficult to read due to the penmanship, but there's a few phrases that can be made out like, I am a phantom parasite and I want to control my future, which does not exist. Janice expressed her doubts about the authenticity of the uh, authenticity, authenticity rather of the note. Um, she said the note does not sound anything like someone who has no hope and is contemplating ending their life. She said the note sounds more like one of his tweets. She also said the handwriting is suspect and it reads more like someone trying to imitate John's style of tweeting. And also, she noted that if the note was found in his pocket, how come there are no markings on it making it look like it had been folded? Oh yes, the plot thickens. And that is your juicy entertainment news for Thursday. Locking in again tomorrow right here at 1230 on the all-new KISS 96.